Hello, my name is Charmaine and welcome back to my channel. This is a two part video. On the first video I talked, I gave you a tour of design space and told you different functions of the um, soft, soft, the Cricut software. I told you what you need to have, the basic tools that you need to have when you're doing your first project with the Cricut Explorer Air 2. And I also told you the different things that you can do, that you can cut out with the Cricut. And I also told you the different materials that you can cut on the Cricut. So if you want to know about any of the information I just stated, please look at my video before this one. And I will also have that video linked into the description bar below. Okay, so this one is still a basic video for the Cricut. So if you are kind of familiar with Cricut, this is not a video for you. This is just a basic one-on-one -on -one video for the beginners. And we left out with, we did find the design that we wanted. We sized up the design and everything like that. We talked about the different things you can add with the design. We talked about that on the first video. So that I didn't mention this. You can also make the design bigger so you can just be able to see it. Even though, I mean, right here you can just be able to see it on the design space. So you can make it bigger so you can be able to see it. But it's still going to be the same size, which we chose. A three, we chose, it must have went back. I think we chose three by five by four. So I'm going to go ahead and do it again. Three by five by four. I think it just adjusted to that because of how it's made. So I, I taught, I went over all that in the first video. So if you want to learn about the, how to size it and everything like that, you can go to the first video before this one. That's going to be too big for the mug. And we decided the, the size, how are we going to size it by measuring the mug? So I'm just do it four and a half by four and a half. No, that's not right. The width is, that's fine. So I'll do that. That's fine. As long as it's not bigger than the mug. And it's the mug we are going to use. And for this video, we're going to need basically a, the Cricut cutter. We're going to need a mug. We're going to need alcohol. 91%, which is really good because it, it basically, you have to use that to clean the surface so the vinyl can set easily on your mug. You need a pair of scissors, the weeding tool, and a scraper. Of course, your vinyl. And I have it on my mat already ready. And contact paper. Of course, those are the things we're gonna need for this video. Okay. So let's get on with it because it's going to be a little long video. It's going to be a little a little long video. It's going to be a long video because I have to weed and weeding. Sometimes it can take a while to weed. Okay, so we size it up. We can also put text in here. I didn't talk about the text in the first video. So let's just put something right here just so you can see how to use text. So what I did was I went over here and I pushed the, word, the letter T. I clicked on the letter T. And then I'm just going to put in um, Diva. D I V A Diva, and then I'm gonna change the um cut. I'm gonna change. You can change the font. We can talk about fonts and stuff later. I can tell you how to add more font to your Cricut. But it's a lot. They have a lot of free fonts on here. So let's scroll down and see if we can find a nice font for Diva. Let's see. I like that. Hmm. That's nice. But I don't want to show you. I don't want to do this yet because it's, it, it's a lot to do when you have to. Well, we can do it real quick. So basically, when you when you have a fine and it's spread out like that, you don't want it to spread like that on your spread out like that on your on your um product. So what we need to do is just move this out the way a little bit and bring this up some. Or let's just make this screen a little smaller so I can be able to move this out the way. So basically, what we need to do is we need to. Put it, bring it together a little bit. What I do, I usually put it on a line right here so we can be able to um, even it out, make sure it's in a straight line. So I, I put, you know, I lay the word on the line right here. And then you have to highlight it and you have to ungroup it because right now it's all together, but you want to ungroup it so you can put them together. So I'm going to go over here to ungroup. I'm trying to do this quick because I don't want this video to be too long. You can always rewind and go back. But, um, so I'm going to bring it over some, so we just basically click on the letter and then close, bring it closer. Because it don't look right when you have, when you're doing a project and it's all, the words are separated like that. You want to bring it together. So then I brought it, to, I'm bringing it together like that. Let's see how it looks. That looks much better. So now I need to highlight it so I can group it back. 
so it can all cut the same. So then I push group and see how right now it's not grouped and it's all different single letters. So now I'm gonna push group and look and watch what happens. Okay, I grouped it, but then I have to weld it or attach it. Let's see. Then let's go ahead and attach it. It's welded. And then we weld it. So basically, what I had to do was group it and then weld it. They changed some of the features in Cricut, so things change. So now it's all together. It's put together perfectly, and it would be cut out just like this. Before it would have cut out in different, and all the letters would have been de um, divided. Well, separate, I'm sorry. Would have all been separate, but now it's together. So now we have our lady, and we have our, the word diva. So now we can go ahead and make it. So we go over here and push make it. See how all of this black is only one color because everything is black. I could have changed the color. You can see how it'd be a different matte if, it, if, word, if the word deeper was different, but that can be for another um, video. Okay, so here's deep. I'm gonna bring it down some, like I said, for my other video. You don't want this to be cut. If, you, if it's touched the real line, it can't cut and, and then it mess up your vinyl. I'm gonna bring it over some. And, and Cricut just trying to space everything close so you can save vinyl. What I do, I take the lips, since it's two pieces to that face, it's not, and put it right here. Okay? Everything is black. And we can go ahead and, we don't have to mirror it because it's not heat. And we go down here to continue. And I have my, um, see how it is, it is Bluetooth. So I just search it for my Cricut. Okay, and the first thing you need to do now, to see now, is tell you what to do. I have it on paper, so let me change my settings. Let me go over to my picture and show you. I have my, it's on, it's on um, paper. What I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on custom. And I'm gonna tell you the reason why I did that. Put it on custom. And when you put it on custom, it brings up uh, the whole um, drop a whole lot of things that you can use. You can use favorites, and mine is already in favorites. But there's so many different things you can. Um, let's see, what we can do popular. It has all this different kind: light paper, vinyl, leather, plastic paper, anything. It's a lot of things you can use on um, Cricut. So if you don't see the setting over there on the dial tone, on the um, I mean on the dial on the Cricut, then you can come over here and go to put on custom, and then it pick out what you want to use. So I'm gonna go back to favorites. I usually use watchy tape when I'm doing products project like this because it's easier to do washi tape because it cuts better. It cuts and you don't have to worry about it not missing space, you know, different parts of your um design. Okay, so now I take my mat and it's telling me to push going to slide this in. Just make sure the green parts are under the little levers right here. You push it in, just give it a little push. And what I do is I hold on to the mat at the same time when I push this button because sometimes the mats don't catch. So what I do is I hold on to the mat, then I push the button, the arrow button. And here you go. It's going to print for us. I mean, I'm sorry, it's going to cut for us. And after you push that button, this button's blinking off and on, telling us to go ahead and push that to go ahead and print it. After you load it, this button to blink off and on to tell you to go ahead and start the print. I keep on saying print, I'm sorry, to cut it. I had a long day of work today, so sorry if I'm stumbling with my words. This is the Cricut Explorer Air 2. And it's basically cutting the hair. Let me show you what it's showing on my computer basically said I have eight percent cutting and I'm gonna just to save the video length I'm gonna go ahead and um let it cut and I'm gonna be right back okay I'm back the um image is, has been cut and it stopped the printers I mean the cutter stopped so now it tells you it, this is the screen that pop on your computer and it says finish so we're gonna push finish because you're done with the cuts And then it should pop back up. So I basically, sometimes I leave my design up so I can be able to see it. 
so I could be able to know where things go. Like if you have a linear, uh, linear project, you could be able to see where everything goes, like the eyes, nose, mouth, whatever. So here's the mat, and you can't really see it that good, but it's all there. This is how it's gonna look after you get it after it cut. So now it's time to weed it. So let me go ahead and close this computer down so I have some more space to work. project is going to be easy so I don't need that to have, to have that um, picture up. So I'm going to take this off like this. Okay. Some people like to read on their mat but I don't. So I just go ahead and, and now what you need to do is cut off the excess vinyl. Because the less vinyl you have the, best, the better you'll be able to cut get it together so let's cut it yeah, you can't see it it's black so I'm gonna go ahead and cut around the picture the image I'm sorry and then I put the other excess vinyl away to use it at different times okay it's still hard to see so let me go ahead in the camera it's very hard to see so you can see the design of the hair the hair and so basically what you need to do is trying to weed around that and you'll know what you need and what you don't need let's see so let me cut off let me just cut around the hair let me make sure you don't cut the hair okay so that's the face it's really hard to see in this camera but that is the face <laughs> and then this is the um the word diva and then the lips. So you always cut them to make different pieces so you can make sure you have all three pieces separate so it won't get in the way. Okay, so let's. Go ahead and weed this out. Like I said, weeding is, is, is it could be a booger. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this piece, this um weeding tool right here. And I have to look at it while I'm doing this. So I'm gonna look at it this way and see how the face. Oh, you know this face on on the cricket machine. You see that it's white. So if it's white, then you don't need it. So that's the face. And then the outside of the hair is right here. So I'm gonna pull it. And then it come right off. We like I said, it's easy right here. This one, this project right here is easy, but it's weeding can be very hard. So this is it right here, the face. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the lips. And since the lips is that small, I'm gonna just cut it. So I don't have to have a big old piece in the way. Get rid of that. Then I weed the lips. So I pull around the image. And just pull it on off and it stay right here. Okay, and then I have one more thing, which is going to be probably a little time consuming, is the word diva. So let's see what we can do here. We just take it and go out the, from the outside first and just pull away. Sometimes you got to go slow, sometimes you can go fast. It depends on what kind of vinyl it is. I think the HTV vinyl is much easier to weed than this vinyl because sometimes this can get stuck. It can be really tricky. But this went kind of well. I'm happy because I'm videotaping it. I don't want to be in the, in the, having a, making a long video. So now you see how the inside of the D, you got to get that out. And then the, the, the inside of the A. And you got so you can tell when it needs to be weeded from your picture on your computer. So that's it right here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you too to give you an idea of how it looks um, on a computer screen so you can know what to weed and what to weed, not to weed out really quick. So now you see. Okay. So you can see how the computer screen is. So you can tell what you need to weed and what you don't need to keep. It looks just like the picture. 
So we weeded out all that was black. So we took the black out and then the same for the letters. To see if you miss anything, you can look at the picture and say, okay, but I didn't miss anything because it looks like, like it needs to look. Okay? And as far as the lips, that needs to be weeded out more too. The only thing we need for the lips is the outline. But I could have made this red and she could have had real lips and I didn't think about that. That would have been cool. But now since I didn't do that, I'm going to have to just... Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna take it out, take the lips out. Cause let's see, you can tell it's not weedy because it's black inside and it's supposed to be clear like this. So it's just basically the lip line and not the lips. The next time I do this, I can make that red. And yeah, probably. Well, I just weeded out the lips. And that's how it looks now. Okay. Now it's time to get the contact paper. Let's put this over here. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to fix my tripod. Tripod. Okay. So now I have the image. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do this first and the contact paper. Like I said, I get contact paper from the dollar store. And I don't really need all of this because see how big this image is. I just need about that much to use for this you don't want to use a lot of you know if, 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 it's, if you want it if you get a big piece it'll, it'll kind of be in the, it'll kind of be in the way so you just get the size that you need and that that like that'll work that'll work oh my goodness what you do is take the contact paper off i already had it got it ready because it's, it takes a while for you to get it from that sheet make sure you cover the whole image up yeah. you cover the image up it's got to be covered or it's not going to work. Then now, make sure it's straight. You don't want no bubbles. I don't think I have bubbles because I should have done some fresh contact paper. And then you use this so you get all the bubbles out of it. It's not going to be perfect, so you might have a few of them, but when you put it on the, on the cup, it might disappear. I hope this image, okay, yeah, that image. A little bit big, but we're gonna use this for the cut. It don't have to be that big, but that's the size that I did it. So now, this this contact paper is pretty good. Use the stick. Sometimes it takes a while for the stick to be there to make sure it's all sticking. So while we're doing that, let's spray this cup. Just spray this cup with alcohol and just basically clean the surface that you're gonna be using. The part you're gonna be using. Wipe it off with a towel. Alcohol is really helpful to clean it, and also it helps the um the cleaner the glass, the cleaner the cup. It helps the vinyl stick. Sometimes people have issues with keeping having the vinyl stick on the cup because it's not clean. It's not clean. The cup is not clean. So when you use the alcohol, it really helps. So what I do is when I do cups and stuff like that, I lay it down on the table. And, I, and that's so it can sit still. Why I place the vinyl on there, it's gonna be straight. Of course, my iPad won't act up. Okay, so there we go. So now I'm so, so it's in a position it won't move. So, okay, now let's see if it's tape. Let's see if it's sticking. Oh, nope, it's not sticking. So let's go ahead and get a little bit. Get the edges real good. It might not. We gotta make sure it sticks all the contact paper. So let's see. Yep, it's sticking. Good. There you go. Smooth transition. Let's put this cup right here. Kind of center it. And then this is kind of. I'm gonna put it. Like, let's see. Just, I'm just trying to make it even. Like I said, I see the bubbles on there, but hopefully. Everything will work out. And you just smooth it on. And I got bubbles. Just take your time. You can try to get the bubbles out. Okay. So just now you go ahead and rub it on the cup. And that's how the image is. It's a little bit too big, but this is just to show how I do it. Then you pull it on out. Put on off the image. Oh, I forgot to weed the earring. See, I forgot a little piece that I weeded, didn't read. And see all these bubbles I have? 
So what I can do is try to bring them on out. This little one. Sometimes they come out, sometimes they won't. So you just gotta deal with it. And you can also use this little pinky thing. This thing right here, I can use to poke a little hole in there so I can just pop the bubble. Then just move it out. You do that a little bit. It's a little tiny hole and then just move it out. But I'm still gonna have a couple air bubbles in here. So what I do with that, <laughs> to cover it up, I just put some bling on it. I also do that too. I put, um beads and stuff on cups and mugs that's what i'm gonna do with this one because things don't always be perfect but you can if i would have made this image a little bit smaller it would have worked i'll just put a little hole in it to just smooth it out a little bit and i forgot to weed that little bit uh oh i forgot to weed that one earring so i'm gonna go ahead and weed that out real quick right here Take this off if it'll come out. Yep. Got to weed that out. Okay. So I did that. There's your mug. Like I said, the image is just a little bit too big. That's the reason why I probably got all those bubbles and stuff is too big. But next time I, I make it smaller. But it's still gonna work for me. It's got a couple bubbles in it. I guess I'm gonna cover it up with um whenever you make mistakes. You can always cover it up. Like, this is a mistake, but it won't be a mistake because I'm going to put some beads on it. Some, um, probably some pearls or something on it. And blend it out a little bit. The last thing, the last thing we got to do is put the lips on there. Okay. So, I'm going to use this big, I'm going to still use the same. We can use this over. The contact paper, we can use it over. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and do this. This little piece on the side. You only need a little bit, so just gonna go ahead and put it right in the middle of the face, her little face. Let's see where it's gonna go. Probably right. Gonna make it even. <laughs> Let me get the picture real quick to see. It's fine. I'll just put it right here. That's my son playing this game. Okay. And voila. There we go. There we have it. And you can, like I said, you can always use that contact paper over again. I think I forgot. I think this doesn't go here. Let's see if I can weed this out. A little piece wasn't supposed to go in there. Nope. There we go. I'll take that part off. And there we have it. I can't, I'll get it off later. I just don't want to, so that piece to come off, I'll get that off later. And on the back of the cup, I can put the word Diva. I'm gonna use the same paper that I used for, I mean the same contact paper that I used. And I didn't wipe that side of the mug off, so I'm gonna spray this part of the mug so it can be easy for me to get the word off. Okay. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use a scraper. Scrape this so it can stay on there. Oh, I see a piece that I didn't, that I didn't, um, well, I mean, I didn't get off. Take out, see right here, I get that piece off. So I'm gonna go ahead and reverse read it this way and take that out. Pull it on out. There we go. So now I'm put the word Diva on the back of the cup. I'm going to just put it like this. You can design a cup any, any way you want to do it. Here. Voila. So now I'm just going to go ahead and rub this kind of, rub it in. See if it's ready to come on out. There it is. Voila. We have a oh man. I, <laughs> that was a dot from the earring. Take this off. Let 
there it is. And you do not want to um this you put this in the dishwasher. Like I said, I do have little bubbles on there, but I can always cover it up, which I'm gonna do. And then we're a diva on the other side. Like I said, we're not perfect. So things happen. And I have little bubbles, but it'll be okay. I can use this for myself. <laughs> All right, thank you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below. And I will be taking this off. Getting this off. Let me see. All right, there we go. And you do not, you don't dishwash. You just basically hand wash these. But it's permanent. I mean, it's good inside and outside vinyl so you can still use water on it. All right, thank you. Please um, subscribe. See you next video.